now to find the x and y uh, we want to know where, where will it be in two seconds so the x final is equal to x initial plus v initial x t plus half a x t squared I'm simply using the very same equations that we do for projectile motion right this path looks like a projectile motion so x final is going to be x initial which is one meter v initial x is going to be uh, negative 3 times 10 to the fourth. The time is 2 milliseconds, which is 2 times 10 to the minus 3. Plus half ax, which is my, this number, negative 3.54 times 10 to the eight, times 2 times 10 to the minus 3 quantity squared. Uh, is going to be my uh, uh, time, time squared. So these are, this is the equations of projectile motion for uh, acceleration that is constant. So one plus this whole thing, so I get one. This is going to be negative, uh, this is six, 60, one negative 60 plus, uh, well this one is going to be negative actually, negative 3.54 over two times this is going to be 4 when you square it. So it's actually going to be times 2 times what? 10 to the 8th, 10 to the minus 6. That's going to be 10 to the second. So about 600. So 1 minus 60 minus, this is uh, 8, 10, 1, uh, 7, 708, 708. So I did that, uh, that's going to be negative 59, negative 59 minus 708, negative 7, uh, 60, 59 and uh, 8 is what, uh, 67. In already 2 milliseconds, its x position is uh, negative 767. Huh? Is that right? Did I do right? You f I forgot something. Which one? Where's the wrong? Here? 6 times uh, 10, that's 60. Ten eight, ten 10 to the minus 6. That's 10 to the second. No, I did that. Ten, 2 squared is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times that is uh, 7.08. No, I think I'm right. OK, so let's see if my prediction held true. Well, I was seeing here that its path is going to look like here. So uh, in, with my prediction, I was uh, predicting that it's somewhere here, right? So I'm predicting that it, the x is negative from my drawing. And it is, but it's a huge negative, right? So that means it's gone like way, way, way over there somewhere. It's a huge negative number. So my prediction held true in terms of the overall shape, OK? And then the y direction. is going to be 1 plus the initial y. So we use this one times t. And then the ay uh, is uh, this one, 5.27 times 10 to the 8 times 2 times 10 to the minus 3 uh, squared. And uh, let's see here, we get 1 plus uh, 80 plus, that's going to be 4 over 2, 2. 2 times 5.27 is 14, 1, 4, 5. 2 times, well, that's 10. Times 10 to the uh, second is 1,054. So that's going to be 1 plus 80 plus 1,054, so 81.
that's it. I mean, you could do it in the calculator, but since it was easy enough, I just did it uh, by hand, you know. So the y component is 1,000. Uh, uh, so that's also correct. See, so it's somewhere way up there. OK. Good. Good, good, good. OK, let's now go to chapter 24.